Miss Teen USA 2016 is Texas. Carly Hay, the newly crowned Miss Teen USA, savoring her moment. Miss Teen USA! But less than 24 hours into her reign, reports of Hay's social media past began to surface. In tweets dating back to 2013, Hay using the N-word repeatedly while writing to friends. There are certain things that Miss Teen USA just can't do. She's a public figure, she's a public official, and she cannot be tweeting stuff like that. It's just unacceptable. Many, including this former 2010 Miss Teen USA, questioning why the Miss Universe organization didn't make the Texas native surrender her crown. Instead, defending the winner and committing their organization to, quote, supporting her continued growth. If the decision was in my hands, absolutely, she would have to be dethroned, not necessarily because of what she said, but the avenue in which she decided to say it. The teenage beauty pageant also marred with criticism over the lack of diversity. Chrissy Teigen tweeting, wow, how can we choose from such a diverse bunch? In response to the final five contenders, all Caucasian blonde women. As for the new Miss Teen USA, the 18-year-old taking to social media to explain that she's not proud of her past tweets, citing personal struggles as the cause. For Good Morning America, Lindsay Janis, ABC News, New York. Thanks, Lindsay, for that. And Miss Teen USA, Carly Hay joins us now. Thank you for coming on this morning. We just saw at the end of, uh, of Lindsay's piece, you say you're not proud of what happened, but I was checking out Twitter and I think what a lot of people are waiting to hear is a clear apology. Yes, and I am very sorry. It's embarrassing. It's something I'm ashamed of and I've grown up from that 15 year old girl who used that type of language. It's never acceptable and now I know how hurtful it is and it hurts me to know that at one point in my life I used that language. I said that and it's, it's not me. Do you understand how it happened? I do. I mean, I, at that age, I was being a follower. I was trying to fit in with my friends. The word was thrown around in the music I listened to, with the friends I hung out with, and I had no guidance. So it was kind of a careless mistake. And when the tweet got brought back up, I was just like kind of like embarrassed, ashamed, and just amazed that I actually, at one point in my life, thought it was okay to use that word because it's never okay. It's, and you know now that's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. There is no excuse to say that word ever at all. And, and, and what do you say we saw that in the piece as well? Some people think you shouldn't have been able to keep the crown. A lot of people think that, but I've, I've grown from then and I've, you know, I've blossomed into a, the person I am today. And I think that I can turn this message into a positive message because there are people that use that word and it's it's not acceptable ever. What have you learned from this? I've learned that, you know, through every obstacle there's something positive that can come out of it and I can use my title to do great things and hopefully people learn from my mistakes because it is a big mistake, it's something I'm embarrassed about, something that, you know, will stick with me and it has definitely affected me and I'm just going to learn from it and try to move forward. Take us inside when this all was happening. W were you prepared to lose the crown? What were those conversations like? I was, like I said, I was trying to stay positive. I've tried to stay positive through all of this. I've been through a lot of obstacles, and this is just another one that I'm going to have to go through. It's, it was an incredibly bad mistake. It's... And, how, and how do you plan on using now the platform you have uh, to, to try and help fix this? Well, you know, people go through these obstacles. I've gone through my own personal struggles, and everyone has their own personal struggles, but that doesn't give you an excuse to use this type of language or to use any bad language at all. And it goes to show that it can come back and hurt you, and it has definitely hurt me on the inside for ever saying it. It has hurt other people as well. Good luck with it. Thanks, Carly. Thank you.